much. It's too, it's too aggressive. We're gonna do a smooth vlog today. What is happening, fellow collectors, fellow subscribers, fellow hunters? Mike the Hunter here with Mary. Oh my God, this car's not gonna let me over, hold up. So today, we're gonna try to have as much of a fun-packed, kickback day as we possibly can. It's Saturday, it's our day. Apparently, Frank and Sons here in California has reopened. I don't know how long it's been open, but they reopened at a new location that's apparently this, this brand new building, and I, I have yet to see it. A lot of people are going nuts over it, saying it's a pretty cool place, but it's packed, there's a lot of people. But I'm gonna stop by, you know, just to check it out. I, I haven't been to Frank and Sons in like a year. And then after that, we are gonna try to make it to Long Beach. Uh, the beach has just opened up this weekend, so I'm just excited to, you know, get a taste of life again for what it is, and maybe get a few figures, and just all in all, have a good day, and bring you guys along with us to kick back on a beautiful weekend. So let's go ahead and get this vlog started. Look at that, right there. You know what that is? That is an abandoned Toys R Us. That is called dedication right there. They reopened Frank and Sons next to an abandoned Toys R Us. Yo! Oh my god, that looks dope. Look at the line though. Look at all these fellow collectors getting in bad. line now. It's not that bad. Unless it's, like it's, wrapped, it's wrapped around the building. Us nerds, we just don't care. We will get our action figures when we want them. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of new releases coming out. A lot of the uh, the new Marvel Legends dropping, uh, the Apocalypse waves. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Yo, there's a spot right here. It's figure time. Let's go get us some figures. I just caught that like at the corner of my eye. That's the Pizza Planet car from Toys R Us. Oh, and they put the eyes on it from Cars. Frankenstein. It looks so much better this way. Oh, is this how they put the Toys R Us sign up there now? What's going on with that? Look at that. Oh man, it feels good to be back. It feels good to be home, huh? As always, they have the NECA section up front. And they got the Freddy vs. Jason that I've been looking to get for a long time, so let's go check it out. Oh my gosh, Mary is a true hunter. I was looking for Gladiator. First of all, he was he wasn't even looking. He said, I was I passed this him is up. You looking? Uh huh. Oh okay. You didn't even look at every. I single straight one. up passed him up. I was looking. Everyone's charging like forty bucks for this fool. All right, I'm getting him. Get I need a Gladiator for real. Okay, I got to put all these back now. Only two sets of hands. Okay, so what do you got on her? I got her guns right there. She's got right the there. pistols, pistol hands, and then a pair of closed hands. So these must be the other girls. Those are your other hands. Perfect. Hey, thank you, man. Perfect. I appreciate thank that. You. Have a good one. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. Oh, man. I feel my nose, man. They don't play with that mask rule, man. They, they, they see you without your mask, taking a breather, they instantly come up to you. They take, yeah, you better put on your mask right now. You're gonna, you gotta get out. I came up on a few come ups. Mary bought a few things as well. She got some art. Mary's all grumpy now because we've been here for like three hours. 
and she wants to go to the beach already. Unexpected trip to Frankincense today. I, did, I, I really didn't think they were gonna be open, but it's just 10 times better now. It's more spacious, it's not too crowded, it's clean, organized. It's cool, man, just everything's just, just so much better, right? Look at her, she's still grumpy. No joke, I'm hungry though. She know me, so I don't get grumpy. I'll just go ahead and start eating the Snickers. That's a damn good Snickers right there. You want you want a bite, babe? Want a bite of Snickers? No? I'm about to go to the beach. I'm about to show off my figures. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to do. I was trying to do that new TikTok. I thought there's no better time. Stop you, filming me. You've just been TikToked. It's hot. All right, that's a bad idea. Let me put that back up. All right, you want to get some food first, or you just want to head straight out <clears throat> to the beach? Got me some sun-kissed lemonade for only. Okay. Got me some sun-kissed lemonade for only a dollar. There. I love the way they do their prices. They say straight up cash. A dollar for everything on the shelf. I love it. Ooh, that's sour. Put on my dad's shades. Where are we going to eat? Man, price, okay. Man, so you guys saw that Black Widow I picked up at the last minute. That was my last Oh God, hold on, look at this. Rest in peace to Toys R Us. So sad, man. Childhood memories, just gone. But anyway, getting that Black Widow, the guy was so nice, he charged me 15 bucks for it just because it was out of the box. And he stopped me before I left. He's like, oh, wait a second. Did that figure come with any hands? Let's go ahead and check out the bag. He's got little baggies where he keeps all the accessories in the hands. So he made sure that I got every single bit that goes with the figure. It just wasn't in the box. So I got everything except for the bath piece that comes with the Black Widow. So just, I had to get that Black Widow figure. She just looks so good. I'll, I'll show you guys later on once we get um, Oscar the Grouch here some food. And we'll just begin this day and go to the beach and I feel great. That Snickers just... Mary is so mad because she was irresponsible to not have her phone on her and she put it in my backpack so I walked away to go get the fix. She knew where I was going. No, I didn't. I, I looked for you to go because see he didn't even want Black Widow. You were supposed to get your Captain America. I got the Captain America. I went and, and got I it. Went to that and then place no 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 you got it all twisted. So I went and I got the Captain America and I waited in there for like a good 10 minutes. I was like, oh, she should be coming. She knows I came to get the cap. Nowhere to be found. So I said, you know what? I got I got 15 bucks left. I'm gonna go spend it on something loose. So I went and found that Black Widow and then I was rushing, I was rushing. I was being a good man and I was rushing. I was like, I gotta get out of here, I gotta get out of here. I'll take that Black Widow. I, I gotta be quick. Boom, I walk out, Mary's like, I was waiting for you. I said, why didn't you call me? You should have brought your phone with you, man. I can't be responsible for you. Shut up. <sighs> figuring out what Jessica wants to eat is like figuring out a Rubik's Cube, man. What do you want to eat? We're gonna find some good food, and then we're gonna go to the beach. Uh, hello guys. You guys are missing all the action, man. Mike the Hunter's right here. Mike the Hunter's out of quarantine. We're down here in the heart of Long Beach, man. We're going through these main streets, so. Still haven't found food. No, we're gonna eat at a restaurant. We are right next to the Aquarium of the Pacific, so it is like, it's dead. It's dead out here, man. I told Mary that I forgot something important in the car. She's thinking it's like my wallet or my phone. Ah. Uh, yeah, boy. Let's go, Scar Joe. Don't worry. I got her. Black Widow. <laughs> wow. You know I couldn't leave you, baby. Look how beautiful it is out here. Any restaurant 
Between you and ScarJo, you guys have to find out what you want to eat. What the? See what I mean? How it's just so calm. A bunch of people eating over here. It's not so bad. It's nice, you know. It's not dangerous. People are, are spreading apart and. And we wearing a mask, and that feels good. We're not even wearing masks. Got the Queen Mary right there. Pulling up to the Dine Avenue Pier. And it's dead! All the boats over here. Got all these people chilling. I swear, Mary is so indecisive. We were sitting down at that burger and pizza place and kept on asking her, are you sure this is what you want? Yeah, I'm fine. Couldn't decide for like 15 minutes, the lady came out. She's like, you ready yet, you ready? I'm like, no. I looked at her, I was like, you know what? I was like, I know she wants sushi, so. All right, here we go with the indecisiveness again. Um, Mary's passing by Tequila Jack's. So the burger place we rejected was way over there. The sushi place that we're going to is way on the other side. And now she passes by and she sees that they got $5 margaritas. So now we gotta get a $5 margarita to go. All right, so she made a pretty good choice on these drinks. It is time to feast on the sushi. Okay, so we just got played. They're on a break right now due to COVID. So the next opening is until five o'clock. It's four o'clock, so another hour till we can eat. It's been four hours. Still no food. No food. Just alcohol. No water. Just tequila and hunger. We're about to get some Bubba Gump shrimp. I've never had it before and I'm excited. I've never had it before, Mary's never had it before, but everyone I've ever talked to about Bubba Gump shrimp, they're like, you gotta, you gotta have it. Eat it. So, we're gonna try it. You guys wondering why I looked so disappointed with that shrimp in my hand? I ordered like a $14 shrimp cocktail and these fools come outside and hand me a cardboard box of like six, six shrimp. separate shrimp. With a sauce. Unseasoned, unmarinated, just regular shrimp with a little tiny Dixie cup of some nasty cocktail sauce. It's because we were used to like the Mexican We're used to mariscos. Yeah. We're used to mariscos, like big old just cups of shrimp sitting That's in. What we thought we were gonna get. Yeah, sitting in the sauce and you know the juices, tomato juice, all that stuff. So yeah, I got played. Look at that, it's Aquarium of the Pacific. Aquarium of the Pacific. What is that? Not to like that. That's the theme song? It's 45 and actually there. Your crew is around the beautiful Long Beach Harbor. What do you say at 6 o'clock? So, number two for the last 45 minute sightseeing tour. How much is it if it's 45 minutes? Girl, I am not, I am not getting seasick right now. You have got to be kidding me. This just shows you how old we're getting. We're exhausted, man. <laughs> we're sitting in my car trying to take a power nap before we go on this cruise. I need energy, so we can either go with the black cherry or the pineapple, orange, and mango kickstart. Ugh, but this thing is acting funky. So that soda machine over there didn't want to give me my drinks. Mm -hmm. I tried twice with my card and with cash. So I had to come across to this taco truck back here and just buy a <laughs> monster, it. so. I don't drink monsters, like I usually don't. And if I do, I have to get like the sugar-free monster. If I ever have an energy drink, it's usually a bang. Those are probably worse than monsters, but they just, they taste so much better. This stuff just, I don't know. I'm just over monsters, but it's the only thing I can get. I'm getting sleepy. We're about to go on this cruise right now, so let's drink some monster. Oh, it tastes like middle school.
so check it out guys we are just so spontaneous and just so last minute with our decisions in life that man after that boat ride we were like you know what just life's too good out here right now we've been back at home for quite some time and we still want to get away a little bit so now we're in a hotel we just got a hotel we're like screw it let's look you know in the long beach area see what hotels are uh are open right now we straight up went for it man we're still in long beach and uh what what hotel are we at right now we got it so fast i don't even remember the name of it we don't remember the name of the hotel we just got it that's how fast we got it so we're staying the night out here on a Saturday night. I got my fig purchases, my uh, my Frankenstein stuff right here. I'm gonna show you guys in a bit. I'm gonna charge the camera, get showered up and eat for once. And then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be more than happy to show you guys what I got. Okay, so I told you guys last night that I would showcase um, my toy haul from Frankenstein's yesterday. And I was wrong. I put my camera to charge and we passed out. We passed out. We were exhausted. So it's early morning. We were about to check out, go get some breakfast. I'm pretty sure my memory card is about to just give out on me because we filmed a lot of stuff yesterday. So hopefully it doesn't. But let's go ahead and show you what I got. So I went ahead and I got my... 80th anniversary Captain America. I couldn't wait any longer. I had to grab him. I was going from vendor to vendor uh, at Frank's and every single one of them were like, I'm all out. I'm all out. For some reason, I'm all out of that 80th cap. And I only saw two places that were selling him for like 35 bucks, 35 to 40 bucks. A couple places had him with like uh, some bad paint apps on his eyeballs. His eyeballs were like pointing out in another direction. One was looking straight. <laughs> This one was the best one that I saw, so I grabbed it for 35 bucks, and I'm very happy that I grabbed him because uh, Captain America is my all-time favorite, and this figure has a lot of brags. A lot of people are saying to get him. So, it's my first pickup right there. And of course, you guys know I got the Black Widow for 15 bucks loose. Uh, she came with everything. Uh-oh. I gotta find her, uh, what do you call that, her baton, whatever. Uh, it fell in my backpack. De great looking figure, I had to get her. <clears throat> uh, another thing I picked up for seven bucks. There's a... There's a guy that does his own artwork and he sells all of his pieces for cheap. He puts his artwork on lighters, on um, wallets, he puts them all in frames. He's a fantastic artist and I saw one picture that I wanted for seven dollars, I got my all-time favorite drawing of Dr. Doom that he did. This is a portrait, it came with the frame. Look at that. That is artwork that he does. Fantastic. This is going up on the wall. Um, I gotta showcase my favorite villain. Um, I did get a Marvel Legends Gladiator loose, and that's the one that you guys saw that Mary spotted. For $15, every other guy was charging like almost 50 bucks for him just because he had something to do with the apocalypse head coming in the package. And I asked them, they're like, yeah, man, that's why he's expensive. If you buy him on card, he's like 100 bucks because it comes with that head. But if you buy him loose, some guys were charging 30. But Mary over here, see that tired woman in the back, that old lady? Um, yeah, she found one in the very far back for $15 in a bag loose and there was nothing wrong with him. However, I don't have him in here, so I can't showcase him. He's in the car um, way downstairs, so I can't go get him. But you guys know what he looks like. Gladiator. <clears throat> and then lastly, um, we picked up some art pieces right here. Uh, this one I got for Coco. There are these foam boards with the images uh, kind of like glued onto them, but it's so nice. And they're perfect to hang up on your wall in the background. Very lightweight. I got this one for Coco, it's Penelope with all the uh, princesses that she knows. Got Elsa, Anna over there, Penelope, really cool picture. I, knew she, I know she'll love it in her room, so I had to get that one for her. I had to get this one, Captain America, looking over um, the battle 
uh, with Thanos. He's got Mjolnir in his hand, electrifying half of his body. He got the shield, and he is just looking off into the distance. One of my favorite scenes in my favorite movie. Had to get it. Next, I, I got this Punisher portrait of Punisher walking in the streets. He just got, he just killed someone on the sidewalk. See that? I don't know what he did to him. Either he dropped him off the building or something, but that guy looks like splattered all over the sidewalk. You got some pedestrians all worried in the corner there. And Punisher is just walking off. Looks awesome. Had to get that one. Big Punisher fan. Mary had to grab this one, which was Tony Stark. Endgame Iron Man, the first Iron Man, Iron Man 3, Civil War Iron Man, just all the Iron Mans. And Robert Downey Jr. himself in the middle with uh, his face all struck after he snapped his fingers at the Infinity Gauntlet. Really cool picture. Uh, since Mary is a Iron Man fan, she got that one. And lastly, she picked up this creepy Michael Myers one for her brother. A Michael Myers portrait. That looks just totally just evil. But cool. Other than that, that is all we picked up. So with that being said, guys, thank you for checking this out. We're going to go get some food. And, um... Don't worry, we'll vlog it. No, we can't vlog it. There's no way I have that much space in my, uh... We can't vlog it. Unless my camera shuts it. We, we can vlog it. We can vlog it. We'll probably vlog That's so much to edit, though. This is two days worth of footage I have to edit. I'm not gonna get this out till Wednesday. It's Sunday. Alright, guys. We're gonna go get some food. See ya.